forgive us. Ma'am, are you drunk? Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm just walking, lady. I'm walking, get the fuck out of my way. Pardon me, sir. No, you pardon you, sir. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh. What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god, what did I just do to you? Fucking, we need to get an exorcism up in here. Here, lady, let me fix yourself. What did I just do? I can't even shoot this bitch. What the fuck? Oh! Oh. Oops. Tell me where you want it. Oh shit. Ah! Got two of them at me. The one for you oh! Yeah. Bitch, get off my ass. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? What? Oh, no, you don't. You know what, dude? You know what I'm at? What is going on here? No, he's just pull my gun. You should not have been messing Everyone, stop it. Stop it. What in the hell is going on here? Oh. What just happened? What? Here, dude. I'll just ease your passing. Don't worry. It's okay, man. It was my fault. Oh my god. Look at his head. Oh my god. What a clusterfuck. Mr. Marston. Sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something. <sighs> which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good sir. Come and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, hardworking souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine... Oh, there's my horse. ...which cures headache, neurology... Is that scripted? Uh, ...toothache, earache, backache... Fraud! This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Chose Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right ah. now! Oh, shit. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> It's not your forte. Good day. What at all? Oh God. Uh oh. All right, all right, guys. Just kill these dudes. Damn, that's sick. Here, double barrel shotgun's the best. Come on, buddy. Get your ass over here. Wait here much Let me crouch. Boom, bitch. That's right. Look at this guy. I'm gonna go up and personal. Oof. Yeah, that's what you get for uh 
That's what you get for using your judgment and knowing when you're getting conned. <laughs> I feel bad for killing those guys because honestly, I. Saint Homobonus is not. I'd probably kill this guy too. You can only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pan. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You leave the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Rob banks are no more honest than this. Ooh, right in the face! Look at that dude. Just go freaking. Jesus Christ, that was amazing. Shot! You know you're gonna die, right? Shotgun time. This is a terrible misunderstanding! <laughs> Take me! I love the double barrel. I'm gonna use the sawn off. I'm gonna wait till they get up a little closer. That tonic tastes like That's right. Ooh, right in the Sorry, I'm so annoying. I just like marvel at every time I kill someone in this game. Because <laughs> the graphics or the physics are so good. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, laid down. Shit, I think I shot him in the nuts. Sure is lucky you came along. Lucky for who? Why are you gonna get some Even if not <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> wow. Let's finish this dude off. Alright, let me get my pistol on my good old pistol. Oh! Oh, that's a horse. Get the skull field. Oh, I don't have it yet. Oh, shit. Oh, watch this. Boom! Oh wow, nice shot, dude. The old man killed that dude. Now let's make haste for Quaver Sucker. Shit. <laughs> two shells for two guys. Switch guns. Now I'm fucking serious. If Red Dead 2 downgrades like all the sweet ass physics and like kills that we just saw for the next one like <sighs> I'm just gonna be done like I'm just done with Rockstar honestly cuz you know uh, you know what I'm saying <laughs> all right bitch get off your wagon yeah screw you bird <laughs> That was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> <laughs> All right, let's do another one of these missions. We make quite a team, don't you think? Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more 
subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> All right. I hope I don't have to fucking ride in the whole time. We can skip this ride. Finally, we're here. God, that was boring as shit. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's do this shit. Look at the moonlight. Damn. I need a horse. Well, let's get my horse. Where is it? Is there one here? He's coming around this side. There he is. That's my black stallion right there. My war horse. Let's go to starting position. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing. What is wrong with your legs, dude? Here, I have an idea how to win this race. I'm joking. Haha, <laughs> that would suck. Wow, that was easy as hell. Let's go! That turn fucked me up. Oh, you sons of bitches. You fuckers. Get the hell away from me. Man, this is so much fun. Man, that was so fucking hard. Wow. Here, I'll just slow down. <laughs> he came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? Bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Come on, easy up now. All right, let's do this shit. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need. You ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. Yeah. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary. Who said he had the body? Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you. <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you gonna do with those bodies? I'm gonna take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Well, that was fucking right. disturbing. I know a secluded. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. They're coming <laughs> after us. Get us out of here. Oh, great. Another wagon mission. Stop that wagon. Oh, shit. You'll be joining us. Oh, I can't see shit. Shake those damn rednecks. Oh, my. Oh, my. Is this the place? 
guess I am. Oh god, the train's gonna run him over. Can't you see where it's rush here? Damn, he ran right my horse. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! I got a beat on your partner! This guy's running away. Why don't you go get some friends? Isn't this up? What in the. Can't you go any faster? This dude just killed himself. What the fuck? I'm gonna be rich beyond my wildest dreams. Great. Thanks, mister. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. That's where I find my treasure, mister. Hell yeah. Ten bucks. What? God, good thing I'm doing, like, other shit on the side. Let's get off this fucking wagon. Let the dead bury their dead. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Oh, what a big surprise. I'm gonna shoot this guy right in the dick. Oof. Dubious as they look, that's the shotgun out. Ow. Let's get my skull field. Oh, you call me a son of a bitch? Yeah, this is what happens to sons of bitches. Oof. Goddamn grave robber. Son of a bitch! Oh, headshot. Crouch. I swear, in, in GTA 4 and Red Dead, crouch is like... Almost better than taking cover like this, because if you see, you pop out like that, you know? Which has its benefits, like taking this guy out. You can run up on him. Boom! He's still alive. Alright. But if you use crouch like that... See, like, look how much cover it gives me. Like, I'm not even getting hit. This dumbass right here. Right in the head. Oh, I laid that dude down. But GTA 5 just... I don't know what they were thinking when they fucking took away the crouch. And I know people, like, defend the game. They're like, yeah, well, you can go in uh, stealth mode and you hunch over, like... You're about to get fucked in the ass or some shit. It's so stupid. If there's no crouch in Red Dead 2 or GTA 6, I'm going to send a polite letter to Rockstar. Hello! Oh my god, that bullet spread was not in my favor, and I'm running out of ammo. I got one bullet left. Let's make it count. Make it count. God damn it. Oh, right in the face. Where's this guy? I'm gonna is he in here? Oh, there he is. Got him. Your life worth living. Nice. Let me take off my bandana. I can't lose that treasure. Not now. You gotta help me. You gotta go now. It's our last chance. Oh, I remember. Damn, this one's locked. Let's check the back. We gotta go around here. There we go. The shed. 
to the basement. Here we go. Over here. Come on, Seth. This is a little sketchy. Jesus, what? Yeah, let me use my nice Springfield rifle. I haven't used this because I don't have much ammo for it. I got an idea. Follow me. Oh, who we'll watch this? Good shot. Run away! Oh. Right in the mouth. That's yep. Alright. I forgot. I'm not looting bodies like I used to. I need to loot the hell out of this place before I do anything. Don't leave any alive! Alright, this room is clear. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, fat man. Hey, buddy. Oh, like a better dad. Oh, man. Laid him down. It's mine. I found it. Nice beanie. I'm trying to loot this body right here, but it's not not working out. Why? Why? Smoke him. Howdy. You'll never find it. Oof. Come on, don't touch me. <laughs> Get over here. That was really easy. I feel like I'm, I'm a little too good at this game. Which is a really douchey thing to say, but <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not ashamed to say it. I am good at this game, and I and I will challenge you. Oh yeah, you think you're still good? Oh my god. This guy's nuts. God damn hell is this? A glass eye? I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Those stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! <laughs> a glass eye. <laughs> Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Exhume. I like that word. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer. Hell yeah. The gentleman is ready. All right. I think we are ready to... Ready to kick some ass at Fort Mercer now. Oh shit. Stagecoach. I'm coming, sir. Where, where, where? Oh fuck it, let me shoot your horse. Wow, oh, they missed every shot. Sir, get your motherfucking ass over here. Hey! The rope's chafing me! Oh, it is? Not anymore. I'm so cruel. Aw, oh, man. I could have. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. That. Fuck. I could have done that. Gentlemen! <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, 
He will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Huh? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Oh, hell yeah. Esconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The oh, moment you hear a shit. The rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. Now I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good man, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> Here we go, baby. You're all about to have whole foot in you. Oof. Oh, watch this D-Day right here. Going through the freaking... <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that guy flipped. Where's this guy? Oh, he's blind the wall. Wow, that was satisfying as hell. This was a mistake! <laughs> this is sick. Over here! Fuck 
a dang pig. Them cocksucking some bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. Let's go. Man, I'm gonna loot a lot of bodies. Yeah, let me get some. Is there a shotgun ammo? I'm completely out. Alright, that's alright. Charge! What are you doing, dude? You're pushing me. I didn't even kill him. Thanks. Just keep zigzagging. Oh, TNT. All right, I'll take it. More TNT. Oh, oh, that was sick. Oh, there's a guy right there. He's behind there. Where is he? Where is he? Where'd he go? Let me get around here. Is there a nice hole right here? Oh, they got it. Is that it? Alright, 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 alright. Alright. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey! It's the snake oil guy! General Adam let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oh, oil guy! What Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Hell yeah. John's like, I ain't worried about that. Let them come. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy's fucked. Oh, dude. I don't care if I kill the horses, honestly. Fuck everything here. Nothing's gonna live over here. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till they get a little closer. Then we're gonna unleash hell. Come on, boys. <sighs> oh, shit. Yeah, start from the legs and then they trip and then just grind them up like meat. Alright, that is Still fucked up, here. but Look awesome. Everywhere. Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on, I missed it. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! Oof. Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> yes, bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. 
Uh, I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. And just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Good lord, look at the aftermath right here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys at the next episode. We're going to be doing it in Mexico. So, yeah. Peace out.